Hey, it's time for some more Baldur's Gate. When we left off, we were talking to a wanderer named Colset out here. Stand away from me. I have very little trust after last night's event, and I'll not waste any on you. Well, I imagine you're either the cause or a victim of the carnage I heard in the north last night. It's a shame that the iron, with the iron shortage has done to people's manners. You would do well to treat people you meet with a touch more respect, at least until you determine if they're a threat or not. Do not get far if you don't make friends. Though there are a couple fellows on the route, road to the east that would suit your demeanor nicely, I'm sure. I apologize for the outburst, but I am in dire straits. Can you help me? I have little to give besides advice and goodwill. Make friends where you can, as traveling alone is almost certain death. If you want to surround yourself with like-minded companions, lest you risk making enemies in your own party. Aside from this little tidbit of wisdom, I'd say you're on your own. Luck be with you. To you as well. Fare thee well, as they say. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Fat lot of good he was. <sighs> well, he said there's people up the road. Oh god, gibberlings. Ow! He hit me for two damage. I hit him for eleven. Suffice to say, I came out the victor. Let's see, where were we? I'm pretty charismatic, so I should get a good reaction. Hello there, kid. Rather strange place to be wandering, ain't it? My companion has something to say to you. Who are you? You are Czar. Alrighty. A child wandering the wilderness? Surely you must be none too bright to be traveling these roads. And you look a bit scuffed, too. A fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer you healing potions if you wish, as a token of goodwill. I'd be grateful for any assistance. Nothing to fear from these simple potions, and I'll not even hold you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Indeed it does. Just like all good people. Perhaps as payment you would go with us to Nashkel. It is a troubled area, and we mean to investigate some disturbing rumors surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage, specifically where to lay the blame in the matter. You'd be useful, though I'll not hold you to it. We are to meet the mayor of the town, a man named Baron Gastkill, I believe. Your conscience be your guide. There's little else for me to do. I may as well go with you. Goody, good, good. We should make haste to Nashkel, just a short way south of here. Onward, intrepid friends. Rain it in, wizard. I cannot stand the way your senses flit about. Can we just travel in peace? This is Czar, and this is Monterin. Monterin is my alignment, neutral evil. He's a f he is a multi-class halfling. He's a fighter thief. He's wearing some decent armor. He's very quick. He gets extra hit points from having a high con. He's pretty strong for a halfling. He's not very charismatic. Let's let's get some information from him. When asked about his past, Montrin openly threatens you with bodily harm. He seems quite dangerous and more than willing to engage in gratuitous violence. It would appear that he cares little for life, including his own. He works grudgingly with Czar, even though the, he obviously despises the man. Whoever their employers are, they must be powerful indeed. These two would likely kill each other without a presence over their head to prevent it. Montrin might be willing to discuss the whole matter with you, but you get the feeling that you probably would not wake up the next morning. <laughs> hmm. Czar is a necromancer. He is a specialist wizard, meaning he gets an extra spell each day that must be used on a necromancy spell. As part of his kit, he is forbidden from casting illusion spells. So uh, that blocks off an entire range of spells for him. Okay, let's look at his information. Biography. When asked about his past, Czar has very few coherent things to say. His desire to determine the cause of I the iron shortage seems benevolent enough, but his motives remain unclear. His ramblings seem disjointed, but his faculties are obviously in good enough order for him to be adept at magic. He mutters about something about he and his associate Montrin are in the employ of a powerful group, but when pressed for details, he gets extremely agitated and does not speak for some time. He's obviously at least partially insane, and the network that would hire him must be dark indeed. Okay. For those not familiar with the Forgotten Realms, Zar and Montarin are both members of a specific evil network known as the Zinterim, and they are an information network without peer, and also extremely unscrupulous. They are led by a man known as, Manch as Manchu, who, is, who desires to take over the world. 
in at least some of his plans. He, Ma, Manchun is a very powerful wizard. As are the leaders of most groups. Hey, who are you? Oh, hey, what's that? What's here? What's this? It's a diamond! Holy crap! Yeah, I'll get right on that. That'll sell for a fair amount. Who are you? Hmm? Binkos. Sorry, chum, but I can't stop to chat. There's been another caravan raided northeast of Baragos, and I must report these dire straits to the Grand Dukes. A messenger's work is never done. He's heading south. The Grand Dukes are the rulers of a city called Am, in the nation of Athkatla, far to the south. I forget who voices uh, Czar. Now here's how targeting works. Whoever hits someone, or whoever is closest, will be the person attacked. Everyone did a critical hit for 4 damage to the wolf. Me and Monty critically miss. Monty hits for 9. Jeez, this thing's durable. And it's dead. See, nothing dropped. Let's get out of here. Already under attack by wolves and stuff. We'll come back and explore later. Let's get it out of here. We can't go back to Candlekeep. The Friendly Arm Inn is a bit further away. We'll have, we have we could make for Baragos, but there's more people for the Friendly Arm Inn. Oh, thou wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Who are you? Top of my to-do list. I may not kill you after all. Oh, there, Wanderer, stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh unto a ten day since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire which pertains to thee? A fair bit of desperate, actually. Might you know the way to the friendly arm inn? I was told I might meet some friends there. That I would. The inn is but a short distance north, and its doors are open for all. I have no doubt that thy friends shall be there, waiting with open arms. My sympathies for any hardships the road may have inflicted upon thee. Though I am certain everything shall turn out for the best. My, but I have wasted too much of thy time and said too much already. I shall take my leave and wish thee all the best. An old man. He's dressed like a wizard, though. What you got for me this time? Where ahead of you, boss? Interesting. I wonder who that was. Oh, I love the uh, designs on these things. Coast Way, Friendly Arm into the north, Baragos to the south, Lion's Way west to Candlekeep. Let's stick to the road. It's more likely to be tr guarded, I suppose. Now, if I was being savvy, I would have my thieves scouting ahead. But... Everyone's height in shadows is 15. That's out of a 100-sided die. That's a percentage. That means on an 85 or better on a 100-sided die, she will successfully hide in the shadows. She will move silently on a 30 on a 65 or better. Monty is far better at hiding and, and uh, basically stealthing about. He's a better scout. But that's still a fairly rare chance to succeed. Oh, wow, it succeeded. Sleep lightly. If you don't mind, please try to keep your voices down. There be beasties about with better hearing than we. You, should, you seem quite a, at home out here. What's the most dangerous thing you've seen? Most dangerous thing I intentionally went after? Stalked an ogre mage for a few days once. Had a party of my own back then. Killed the ogre, lost the party. Not really worth the trade, if you ask me. I've seen more dangerous beasties, but usually over my shoulders I'm making tracks as fast as I can. No shame in running when your life is on the line. Off with you now. I've meat to catch. Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Go suck your blade. But you can tell Montrin is my kind of guy. Yeah, I'll get you right on that. At me, sleep lightly, oh, we're here. This will be the this will lead to the friendly yeah, arm in. Right See, did I miss anything? Alright, uh Montrin's hide and shadow he failed his hide and shadows check, so he's visible again. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh, friendly arm in. You have been way late. Oh, jeez! Well, welcome to die, because I have no way of surviving this fight. 
Uh, Emma wins hurt. Zara's nearly dead. Okay, that one's badly injured. He's nearly dead as well. Montrin's dead. Zara's dead. Emma wins dead. I'm about to die. Or maybe... Oh, no, no, there it goes. Welcome to D&D. Well, let's load the autosave. And let's try that again. Top of my to-do list. Oh, here we go. It's working now. Apologies for any frame drops you might get. Well, well, we made it this time. Yeah, Jeez. Before we go in, there's something I want to show you all. If you're playing this game, most people don't know about this, and didn't find it until uh, after uh, the Enhanced Edition came out. Now look at that little rock there. Notice how it's lit up. I wonder what that could be. It's a ring. And it's one of the best rings in the game, if you happen to be a wizard. We'll get into what it is after we've got some money, but that's one of the most valuable rings in the game, bar none. Now, if you want to sell it early on, it's a lot of money that will go a long way to outfitting your party. If you don't, you're going to have a very happy mage later on in the game. Okay, I'm going to... to uh save my game here, well, quick save here, because there's some bad shit coming up. And I'm going to get ready, and yeah. what do you want? Way ahead of you, boss. I am going to use the oil of speed. Ah, yeah. I'll get right on now that. notice how much faster I am. We're going to stay right here, and now I'm going to drink this potion of clarity. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Nice friend. This guy is an asshole. Now, uh, he's wearing a wizard's robes. Now, I want everyone ready to fight him. Both failed their hide and shadows check. Now, we're next to two guards. Hi, friend. I've not seen you here before today. What brings you to the friendly arm? Not much, really. Just road-worn travelers looking for a place to rest. I see, I see. Pardon my being too forward, but you've the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height, they were. Same style of dress or thereabouts, I dare say. You've been spit you'd be seem to be the spitting image of them. Might you have traveled from Candlekeep by any chance? Candlekeep? Never heard of it. Really? I would beg to differ. You fit the description, so I think it would be safe to assume you are the one I seek. Don't move. I have something for you. He just went hostile. And we're going to hit him with a magic missile. And we're going to stab him. And we're going to hit him with Larlock's Minor Drain. Damn it, he got his mirror image off. Oh! Monty critically hits. Badly injured. Jeez! And I kill Tarnesh with a critical hit to the head. This guy is usually far deadlier. He opens up with a horror spell. And I may reload this so you guys can see. Well, I would if I wasn't running out of time. The fact that I got through this without anyone dying is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, Tarnash is a third level, or fifth level wizard. He's far more dangerous than you should be able to fight at your level. Yeah, I'll get right what do you have? A note, some scrolls, and a lot of money. <laughs> Top of my to -do list. We'll get into uh, going through his belongings in the next episode, I'm afraid, because there's a lot of text coming up, and... Not a lot of episode left. So I'll see you later.